What's up guys? Today with the turbo go-kart we learned that two isn't always better than one, especially when you're talking about carburetors. <laughs> So we're picking up right where we left off, but the next weekend. Basically because we filmed this, the video of installing the turbo and running it for the first time and the tuning video at the same time. But then we posted the installing the turbo video and we got a ton of comments about people who have second doubts about the dual carburetor setup. That made us think about it too and we're gonna revisit some things. We did film an entire tuning video with the two carburetors and we got it to run pretty good. And right after this clip, I'll put in a clip of it running pretty good and shooting flames and stuff with both carburetors. Y'all had some amazing ideas. Thank you for the comments. There were a lot of them, but I mean, honestly, with two carburetors, I don't know. I think we're, we're definitely overcomplicating things. Basically, this is the TT, TCT carburetor from Go Power Sports and Tillotson. And this little adjuster right in here is how you adjust the air fuel mixture. We're gonna take off the fuel that goes to here and take out the throttle body thingy or the slide out of here completely. So basically this is just a pipe that goes straight through. Then what we'll do is probably gonna just turn this up and make it as rich as possible and see if we can even get this thing to start. All right, so I want every chance possible for this to work. And if there's a vacuum leak between here and where the carburetor is, it's gonna be really hard to get this thing started and it's gonna be really hard to tune it and stuff. So we want no extra variables. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Go Power Sports Makuni adapter, bolt it here, get rid of this carburetor, and just go pipe straight from here to the intake tubing. So we got all this out of the way, and then I can start on making a better mount out of this actual flange for our TCT carb. I gave it a shot with this TCT carb, and I'm just not making any progress. Like I'm going from full, I went like full adjustments both ways, and the carburetor, or I mean the turbo is literally full of gas right now. Well, first of all, I either have to start with starter fluid or with my hand over the intake so it can suck up the fuel and get it all the way there. And then once it starts, it just revs way up like it has a vacuum leak. And I've checked every single seal on the system. And there's definitely not a vacuum leak. I think what's happening is it's just turbo is pulling a ton of air through and it's more than what the carburetor can keep up with. So it just revs up and falls on its face. All right, guys, I figured it out. This is awesome. I revved it up. Shot flames, let off the gas, it idled. It like returned down the idle slowly and then it idled. Idle was, okay, basically let me just show you what I did. And look, it looks good too. We have our ideal setup. None of this like pull through carburetor nonsense. We got, we got this to work. Basically what we have is we have this boost, boost going in here to pressurize the carburetor. And it came down to this shooting out a ton of air and I didn't notice because there was no bubbling up here or anything in the fuel system until I put my hand under here. I'm like, oh dang, that's a lot of air pressure coming out. And that's what kind of threw off our AFRs and idle and kind of caused it to die. So let me show you the issue we're having. We have unequal gas pressure that forces the gas out. Further developments. This likes to be hooked up. 
the thing is, when I plug this, it doesn't blow air up through back through it, which makes zero sense to me. And I did like a safety test where like I held my finger over it and like see I uh, like revved it up and saw and tried to figure out how much pressure it would build up, and it was hardly any at all. I think now it re it runs pretty good. It revs up and it idles after it revs up. So now I'll just put you on the tripod and we can tune this bad boy. Time for our first test with the carb set to its richest setting. That seems pretty solid. So what I think is happening is, it's idling good when I turn the, the idle screws in a lot. So what happens is it idles good, as I give it gas, and while there's no boost built up, it kind of dies, because it has a lot more fuel than I can take in, because it's so much richer, right? And then what happens is, once a boost can catch up, for enough to make it, make the richness and the gas kind of compensated, then it just shoots more gas in and we have, you know, it works out a little bit better. And it revs up and, I mean, that's definitely ramming off of valve flow as hard as it can. I would not want to hold it there for too long, but that's the only time this thing really makes a boost right now, I think. Let me go through what you would need to do if you're trying to pressurize your carburetor in hopefully a pretty safe way. Basically, there's a hole in the front of the Makuni where if you don't plug it, the air just gets forced right into there and blows everything up out of the bowl, which is horrible. Um, this, is an, this is the higher vent for the gas tank, or for the carb bowl. We basically ran that to boost, and that's our way of pressurizing the fuel system without pressurizing the gas tank, directly at least. We had to plug this um, drain bowl because even with the screw all the way torqued down to where it doesn't leak any gas, it was still just pushing out air, which is cool because that means we're definitely making some boost pressure through here. And then we also just put a little zip tie around here for precautionary matters because it seems like an easy place for boost to leak out. I don't know. I mean, this whole setup is pretty gnarly and it just looks so good with a turbo set up like that, so. This isn't as, well it is a tuning video because we're messing with the engine with different fuel mixtures and carburetor setups and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we'll call it a tuning video, but we're not doing that much carburetor tuning as far as AFRs and stuff like that um, until we can actually drive in and put some load on this engine. So stay tuned for that, that's gonna be awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, took a lot of iterations and a lot of time and a lot of trial and error stuff, but the two carburetor thing was kind of just an idea we had that would basically allow us to mix the AFR ratio as if it was kind of like a knockoff EFI 
but it turned out to be just so complicated that it wasn't really worth it and that a blow through carburetor can actually work out pretty well. Although we haven't ran it under boost, but if we do have severe cutout issues under boost, we might even throw the extra carburetor on there that we can tune and have extra air. I mean, extra fuel or air and fuel, I guess. But anyways, that's a later video. We're just going one hurdle at a time. Basically, the first hurdle was mounting it up with an oil system. The second hurdle was getting it running and running and revving up and then returning it to idle without blowing all the fuel everywhere. And we figured that out. So now hurdle number three is actually trying to drive this thing and hopefully go faster. So stay tuned for that. Leave a thumbs up for turbo stuff. And again, leave comments in the in the comment section about what you think we should do to this thing. But try to go a little bit easier on us this time. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. See you later.